Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the brand new Division video. What I guess today is another Avenger restock video. Today we're going to be going over all the vendors and seeing what they're selling. If they're selling anything good, I'm going to show you guys in the video and hopefully you find a use for them. But if you guys do enjoy this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. So starting off first, we are at the terminal. The first thing you guys want to look at is this special blueprints vendor. Now the one thing that is worth purchasing 100% is the surplus SVD. If you guys didn't know, it's one of the best, if not the best, semi-automatic uh, marksman rifles in the game right now. I know before it was like the M1A, but now the SVD is really good. If you're planning on making like a Deadeye build or just looking for a marksman rifle, uh, this blueprint is really good because you could obviously, you know, roll as many as you want and hopefully get the one you need for your build. Moving next, we are at the Special Equipment Vendor, still in the terminal. The thing you guys want to check out is this classic AK-47. Now, this is like the third week or the fourth week that the vendors are actually selling a good AK, so most of you guys probably already have one. But if you don't, this one is actually pretty good. What it comes with is Swift, Deadly, and Vicious. Honestly, it's not the best one. If you had Competent, maybe instead of Vicious, it would be better. Uh, so you only have to reroll one talent, but it's still pretty good. In my recommendation, you should reroll Swift, try to get something like Unforgiving, Responsive, any of those damage talents, and this AK-47 will be really nice for PvP or PvE. Next one, we have a weapon I've been looking for ages, and this is a Tactical M700. Uh, this one is really good. The base damage is really high, although the headshot damage is... On the low side, it's only 157%, which, like I said, is on the low side. But the damage and the talents are pretty good on it, so what it comes with is Determined, Unforgiving, and Elevated. Elevated is a pretty underrated talent, to be honest. If you're playing PvP and you get on top of a crate or uh, just pretty much anywhere above the ground, you're going to be doing 10% more damage, which is really, really helpful. The only talent I would recommend rerolling is Determined. If you're good at getting headshots, go for Brutal. If you're not, get something like Deadly and this weapon will be really nice. Now the final thing you guys want to check out is this Stamina Mod. I'm actually going to buy a few of these uh, later on. What it comes with is a 265 roll stamina, which is very, very good, and also skill power. So if you are going for a uh, like a hybrid build or if you're going into a uh, pretty much tank tactician build, you can use the Stamina Mod and it's going to help out your build a lot because like I said, Although health is pretty good, um, if you want more skill power and you just need more skill power on your build, getting something like this is really nice. Now, although it's only 2800 skill power, it's still worth buying and keeping in your stash. If you don't use it now, you might find a use for it later. The next vendor you guys want to check out is this Advanced Weapon Vendor, and the weapon is the Tactical SASG 12K. Now, this one's actually really good. What it comes with is Fierce, Ferocious, and Responsive. So as you guys can see by the talents, this is more of a PvE orientated weapon. If you're making a striker build, I would recommend using a SASG 150% uh, because every pellet does stack your striker. So you're going to be doing an insane amount of damage. Uh, the base damage is 142,000, which is going to be a little bit different. As you guys can see, I do have 9,300 firearms, which is very, very high. Uh, but also the stagger is 294.0%, which is okay as well. Up next, we are at the Meat Locker Avenger. Now, this guy's actually selling another Black Market SASGS. Uh, this one's a little bit different. It does have a little bit different talents, but it's still really, really good. The only thing it's pretty much missing is Ferocious, and it does have uh, Deadly instead of Ferocious. So if you are looking for a PvP-oriented SASG, uh, I would recommend picking this one up. In my mind, you don't even have to reroll Fierce, but if you do, get something like Unforgiving or get something like Competent, and this weapon will be a monster in PvP. So as I said, you do have a choice between a PvP SASG and a PvE SASG just from these two different vendors. The next vendor we are located at is the Ward. Now this guy's actually selling a Electronics Health Mod. If you're going for something like a Skill Power build or once again a Tank build with a little bit more Electronics, I would recommend picking this mod up because it's pretty good, although the Electronics roll isn't maxed out. So once again, if you're looking for this mod, it is located at the Ward Safe House. Moving to the Dark Zone Vendors, we are located now in the East 46th Street Checkpoint, and this guy is actually selling two different items you guys want to check out. Uh, the first one is this Prototype Stamina Mod. What it comes with is Stamina and Health, so if you are looking uh, for one, I know 99.9% .9 of players already have these mods, uh, but like I said, if you're looking for one, this one is worth picking up. And the final thing you guys want to check out is this Rapid Chess Piece. Now, the Rapid Chess Piece is very, very underrated in my opinion. You always see a lot of people using Barrett's, Reckless, Vigorous, but you don't really see a lot of people using Rapid, and this one's really good if you're going for something with not a lot of skill power, not a lot of electronics, and you want your heals, uh, you know, regenerate a little bit quicker. The Rapid Chess Piece is really good. I've been using this for last stand for the past couple of weeks. I've been really enjoying it and getting my heals 15% quicker. The only thing you might have to do is reroll electronics, get something like firearms or stamina, but if you are making a skill power build and want your heals even faster, then keep the electronics roll. 
The next vendor we're at is located in the West 31st Street checkpoint, and this guy's actually selling another really, really good AK. I know there's so many places you can buy an AK right now, and I'm pretty sure like two weeks ago, uh, there was actually a blueprint for the AK. But this one is definitely worth picking up. The base damage is really high, enemy armor damage is pretty good, and it also comes with prepared, deadly, and unforgiving. So it's pretty much a god roll off the bat. If you do want some other talents, reroll prepared, get something like competent, get something like brutal, or even responsive and this will be one of the best AKs you will have. This is definitely a weapon I'm going to pick up once I get enough credits for it. So like I said, if you want this one, it is located in the West 31st Street checkpoint in the Dark Zone. The final vendor that is worth looking at is located at West 42nd Street. Now what this guy is actually selling is a suppressor. Um, although it's not the best thing, it's still something that you guys can use. What it comes with is 16% critical hit damage, 5.50% headshot damage, and 2.50% stability, which I do wish it did have critical hit chance, but unfortunately it doesn't. But having extra stability isn't bad at all. So once again, that is for the vendor restock video. This is pretty much the best things that are being for sale right now. So once again, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.